Taking this class is going to make a, you a different teacher. There's, there's going to be a lot of advantages for you taking this class because you're going to be a teacher that you're going to respect yourself better and you're going to respect your profession. And you're going to be an achiever as a teacher. I grew up under the concept, Tom, that you lead, you follow, or you get out of the way. Right. That was, I was taught that in school, I was taught that in my home. Is that true? Do you agree with that? It's not what I've seen in the workplace. Mm. In 30 years as a turnaround consultant, if there are people in the workplace, we call them doers, which is what this course is about, who if they don't believe where the leader's going, they don't go there. Sure. They do it their way. They do it their own way. Because they see it, it's a better way. In other words, a doer is a doer is a doer. Well, they do He's it. He's committed they, to that concept of, of life. They are. And the problem with that is if they don't learn early enough in school, which is where the teacher comes in, that if you're doing something that you don't understand, yes. you're not going to be able to do it to the satisfaction of those who are in charge. Hence, you get into trouble. Sure. Like I used to in school. Uh, I thought in the fourth grade the janitor was the person in charge because he had all the keys. Mm -hmm. And I would, quote, misbehave. I would put my hand up and annoy the teachers to the point where they would send me out of the room. Sure. Using the word rambunctious, which I still don't <laughs> understand. And so I went with great joy to work with the, mm -hmm. the, um, the janitor. And one day he said to me, boy, why are you in trouble so much? And I said, what do you mean in trouble? He said, yeah. And then he points out to me that the person running the shop was the principal down at the end of the hallway, Mrs. Sanders, and that these other people were reporting to her and that they were sending me out of the classroom because I was misbehaving. Mm -hmm. And that was such a, a, a puzzle to me. I couldn't figure that out. Had somebody, if I'd had a teacher in those days who has taken this course, sure. they would have known exactly what to do with me when I was becoming rambunctious and difficult so my, to deal with. So my question is, do teachers teach students in their class to be doers? No. What do they teach They teach. If they don't teach that? They teach what 80% of the classroom needs to know in order to get a job. If the, the teacher's in charge of the transition from earning hmm. to learning. In 80% of the classroom, which is kind of a sure, rough statistic, sure. that's where the 80-20 rule yeah. comes from, 80% of the classroom will do exactly what they're told, do well on the test, and go out and get a job. It's that 20%, the Bill Gateses of the world, mm -hmm. uh, the people that run um, Apple and, and all the rest of those right. uh, organizations, they're the ones that didn't finish school. So a teacher stands in front of a class, has to make a decision. Am I going to teach kids to be the 80% or am I going to teach kids to be the 20%? You're going to do both because if you pay attention to the 20% and don't see them as troublemakers anymore, That's right. that 20% can help you lead that class. If you look at every theory on, on any, any course you've ever taught, you know, from engineering to cosmology to management, there is an assumption of functionality. Things are working the way they're supposed to. You get into the classroom, not the case. You've got a bunch of rambunctious kids that don't want to be there, nice. maybe haven't eaten, have problems at home. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So, so you're going to give that teacher an opportunity to turn that kid exactly. around. Into somebody who's useful and and not, not only useful, but can influence the other people in the class. In this is the course way. to take.